Hi, this is Dave Lawrence from the California Type Foundry. And in this quick start video, I'm gonna show you how to get started with hinting. Hinting is absolutely essential for your fonts to look good in programs like InDesign. I'm gonna show you why. So here is uh, my font for our Luca on the right. And then on the left is a competitor's font. So if I zoom into that one using the, the Mac zoom in thing, you can just see how big my cursor, how far in we are. But look at the T. See, it's dipping down there. And then the R is up here, but then the B is moved down and the U is moved down. And everything is at different levels, which makes it feel like, like it's just, um, you know, like a kid put it in or something. So it's really important for these programs to have it well hinted. So you can see on this side, in uh, this is my font hinted in font lab you can see that everything is really even everything has been is being pushed down correctly and this is even a much smaller point size which is, is very small and it's still really even like that compared to this one as uneven okay so hinting matters a lot in certain programs so let me show you how to do hinting okay so first thing you want to do is you want to set up your zones so we're going to click on this one up here, font info. We're just going to set up the baseline zone. Uh, well, let's auto calc zones, and yeah, and we're just going to get the baseline. And you put a twenty in here. Use the positive number. So that is the bottom zone. We're just going to make that one, but you'd want to have one for the top of your caps. So let me just check. See, and this is within that base zone. Okay. Uh, if you are not seeing your zone and you make one, then what you need to do is go to View, go to Show, and then click on Zones, make sure that's showing there. If you are not seeing your hints, then you go Show, Hints, and then it's going to put those in there for you. You can do the hinting manually. If you highlight this and you push uh, Control x then it's going to put that one there, that one there, and that one there, if we do it separately. Another way to do it is to just highlight all these nodes together, and I missed one, and push Control X, and that's gonna add those there for you. If you wanna get this, then you decide which points make the most sense, and push Control and Y, and then that's gonna get those for you there. Okay, sometimes with a B, you don't... <laughs> so I found that hinting this guy in the middle can sometimes make it get a little bit lopsided if it doesn't quite fit into the pixel grid. Um, another thing is sometimes these two hints can conflict. Okay, so we're going to click on auto hint to just quickly hint all these, and then we're gonna go through and check each part. So this looks good, and what Font Lab did is it put up here ghost hints, and down here a ghost hint. So that makes sure that if that this is going to be getting pushed up if it and down if it needs to. So it's important that those ghost hints are in there. That helps the zones get activated. So um, so just looking through, everything's looking pretty good. Um, we have the ghost hints on the top and bottom of the H. Here we don't have the ghost hints on the I, so we're going to just add those. And so when you don't really have a serif there, but this is just pushing it up, that's called a ghost hint. That one you have to select separately, because if I just select the whole thing and put it, it's going to put one big hint on it. The J needs the ghost hint. So we're just going through, checking out, and you get the idea. I would probably add one to the top of the L. The M has it on the top and the bottom, and so does this. So that looks good. That looks good. That's looking good. So once you've gotten your font like that, it should look pretty good in InDesign. You just you can export it to InDesign and uh, and check it out. Uh, that's a good program to use. Or if you have Windows, put it on your Windows machine. You don't want to check it in a Mac program because Mac you, doesn't use the hinting. Okay, that is our quick start video for hinting. So if you want to get more FontLab 7 videos, check out fontlab.tv. There's going to be a lot of stuff that we're uploading there. And if you want to see what you can do with FontLab, check out my website, calfonts.com. Thanks so much for watching.